Hello everyone, welcome to Kimberlytics. This will be a quick tutorial to show you how to uh, get rid of the dreaded green screen on movies and TV, the app that comes with Windows 10. So I'm just gonna do a quick demo here. Uh, the first thing is, is I have a video on a USB drive um, that I can show you what the green screen looks like. So this is an actual video. You'll hear noise from the video, but as you can see, it's a complete Well, hello screen. everyone. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so what I will do is if you look over here, you can see that um, if I right click with my mouse, I go down to open with, and with open with, it gives me several options on how to open this video so if i open it with windows media player as you can see there's an actual video um and by the way i already got uh windows media set up correctly so that's the reason why it's working and i can do a tutorial on that as well as well as other uh, apps like edge and chrome um, their browsers. I can show you how to set those up as well at some point. But at any rate, uh, this video is for movies and TV. So if I go here and you see where it says movies and TV, and like I said, I click on that, that same video comes out as a green screen. So what I'm going to do to fix that is I go to my search bar here at the bottom. Let me close this down. Go to the search bar, type in display. The first option for me, and it should be for you, is change display settings. That's what you're going to click. When you click that, it opens to this page. And what you want to do is scroll down to graphic settings, which is at the very bottom. And then, as you can see here, it takes you to the graphics performance preference. And it, there's an option for classic app and universal app. Now, classic app, for me, is... It doesn't really show anything. It says we couldn't find any app specific preferences to show here. Now, if I open up Universal App, I get another drop down menu. Click on that, and that is where I can select movies and, let's see, where is it at? There it is, movies and TV. So when I click on that, I add that. Now it's been added into my graphics performance preference uh, panel. Then on this gray, you double click into there, and then you get to the options. You wanna click on that. And currently it's set at system default. So on your computer, it'll probably be set at system default. That's why it's not working. But if I change it to power saving like that, and then I go and open the video, let's see if that will change anything. No, it did not change anything. I still have a green screen. So what that means is that I now need to go in to the options and change it to high performance and hit save. Let's go see what happens now. So when I double click on that, voila, I have a video that's showing. So that fixed that problem. And if you look in here, you can change it for the Netflix app and really for any of the other apps that you have uh, loaded onto your uh, Windows 10. Um, but for now, I'm just going to keep the movies and TV because that's the one that's showing the green screen and that's the one I'm using it. I'm using it for. So hope this helps someone. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment down below. Leave your question down below. I'll be sure to answer it. And then also don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.